Uh, so what happened was the bear actually followed Ivany up the stairs and into, and into my home. And um, I was talking with a family friend and he had his back to the sliding door that the bear came through. No. And um, I heard Ivany say, mom, look. And I looked around my friend and the bear was fully in my dining room, two feet behind Ivany. So and, he didn't know yeah. that the bear was actually scary? I don't think he did. Uh. I really don't. Um, they, the kids were totally fine. It was me and the other adult that realized the, the situation was what it was. And my friend turned to me and said, get the kids and get them in the bedroom. And I grabbed the kids and ran down to the bedroom. And at that point, he tried to push the bear out into back outside. And the bear actually ended up going and doing a loop through my main living area and then trying to back back out the sliding door that it came through. And my friend was pushing it out and slowly sliding the slider closed on its head, but it wouldn't go all the way out and then tried to come back in. And he punched the bear on the nose and then <gasps> the bear head back and he slammed the slider really quick and locked it. Okay, let me get this correct. So you and the kids stayed in the bedroom and your friend chased the bear out of the house and punched it in the nose. Yeah, uh, he gently kind of tried to shuffle it out of the house to not aggravate it. And the bear did a loop through my main living area and then came back out of my kitchen and started backing back out the sliding door that it came through. And at this point, my friend was on the far side of the dining room table, kind of pushing him with a chair and um, slowly sliding the sliding glass door closed on him. But the bear tried to come back in. And at that point, he just reached over and punched the bear in the nose and the bear jerked its head back. And my friend slammed the sliding glass door and locked it. And then what did the bear do at that point? Did he just walk, walk and away? And the bear was trying to get back into the house. So at that point, my friend came and grabbed me and the kids from the bedroom and said, get down in the basement because the bear's trying to get back in. And we went down in the basement and then my friend came back again with my car keys and said, call the police and get in the kids in the car and go because the bear is getting more aggressive. And um, so the police came right away and they were, they were great. And they scared the bear away and we all kind of thought that would be it. That would, you know, that was a kind of a one-off and it wouldn't happen again. But when my friend came back later to check and make sure everything was okay, the bear was actually back at my house trying to get in through my carport door, saw my friend standing at the top of my driveway and chased him down the street a full block so, into his truck. Can you kind of give us perspective of how big this bear was? Was it a smaller one? Was it a bigger one? Uh, the police estimated he was, he was 200 to 225 pounds. So he was an, a, you know, a fair size adult male. Now, he when was small. <laughs> he was not small, but when you're going through this, were you afraid at that point or is it kind of looking back now? It's looking back now because I could hear my son coming up the stairs kind of giggling, saying, Mom, look, Mom, look. He really didn't realize the, the severity of it. And I wonder if that's why he was not harmed, because he was so calm So was your it. was your little boy playing outside and then walked in the house? Is that when the bear came in? What's the bear? So, yeah, what happened was we had just come home from getting some stuff to do some renovations in the house. And... I opened the sliding glass door. We didn't see the, bar the bear when we pulled in, and we had literally just pulled in. And I opened the sliding door so the kids could go down into the backyard. And my friend and I were standing in the living room chatting. And um, then all of a sudden, Ivan, he came up the stairs, and I could hear him giggling as he was coming up, saying, Mom, look, Mom, look. And I didn't really think anything of it until he was in the dining room and said, Mom, look. And that's when I turned around and or you know moved around my friend and saw there was a bear not two feet away from him. No, I don't drooling have... Everywhere. Yeah, that's what the RCMP say. I'm just reading this here, that the RCMP say the bear drooled all over your table. Yeah, he drooled all over my dining room table. And there's drool marks on my floor, and there's a big uh, paw print mark in the carpet at the front of the door as well. Ellery Froud, I am so thankful that you and your family are safe and able to share this story with us. We appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you very much.